say 80. Uh, I'm not picking up a pizza to take back to the room. The sun just came out. It just turned awesome. Of course, every day is awesome. But uh, it's gorgeous today. The wind's blowing real hard. I would like to be out hiking right now. But it's good. We'll get some tomorrow. Um, we hiked some this morning. Cleaned up everything to Bennington so we could start heading northbound tomorrow. I've been watching Redbeard videos today of his remarks and New Hampshire journeys, and it's got me excited. So green when he was up here. I'm kind of excited that it's not going to be that green. So I get a few more views and maybe he had. Right, I'm at Rumino's or something like that. Gets really good reviews. I'm picking up a Hawaiian style pizza. around 8 or 8.30. The hotel guy said he will take me about 8. And then uh, we will proceed northbound. Yeah, Got about 95 miles to do over the next 3 or 4 days to get to Killington. That's where my next resupply box is coming in. A couple things from, uh, I got a new pair of shoes coming. Believe it or not, that will be right at 500 miles on these. And hopefully this will be my last pair of shoes. Um, good shoes, loving them. Perfect. Perfect. All right, y'all. I'm uh, I'm gonna go pick up this pizza. Um, don't have a lot to report today. It was pouring this morning when I was walking. Hopefully, my shoes are getting dry right now out in the sun. I gotta go make sure they're in the sun and not in the shade. Um, the trail's gonna be muddy tomorrow. It was muddy this morning, but it's all good. Um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. We will uh, catch up with y'all in a little while. Alright, y'all, walking down Bennington, Vermont. Saturday afternoon, sunny and windy. It's a cool little town, a lot of good places to eat. Not a bad place, takes a zero. So I'm staying at the Catamount Hotel, and it's definitely hiker style. It only costs like 52 bucks a day. This will be my third night, trust me, I'm ready to head north, but uh, it's been good. Heal up my leg. I'm walking a lot more normal now. I'm going to push 25 tomorrow. I'm just going to do about 19 or 20 and see how she feels. That should still give me plenty of time to let it rest tomorrow afternoon when I get done. All right, heading back to the room. I'm going to let it rest, eat some pizza, watch a movie or something. All right, everybody, this is going to be the shortest video out of all of them. Day 80. Cleaned up all the miles to Bennington. Tired of walking in the rain and the mud. That's all that's been going on for the last two days. I pulled my phone out this morning. <clears throat> it was probably right about the time where you could walk without your headlamp pull it out you use gut hooks like I like to do and three it wasn't raining it was just like drizzling three big raindrops hit it fall that fell off a tree and the damn phone went crazy because all that you know the water was touching the screen and it was what a pain in the butt man so <clears throat> Some things I would suggest for future through hikers who are looking to vlog is figure out, man, I wouldn't change using my phone, but there are inherent challenges that comes with it and rain being one. <clears throat> that leads me to another point. Um, hopefully I'll remember. GoPros are a good option. That's what Red Mage uses. Um, I've got a GoPro at home. I've got two GoPros at home actually that's got waterproof cases. Uh, man, they're okay. I just, I'm not crazy about the fisheye view. Um, I'm not crazy that you can't zoom when you want to, even though I don't do it much. But there are some good things, and I'm not crazy about it not being all in one to where, like I know Red Mage has across his stuff over his phone. Probably not that big of a deal. Um, just an extra step that, <clears throat> if you, if you have aspirations to do it like I'm doing it, if you got like a Verizon wireless um, unlimited plan or something you're trying to post them every day 
that would be one step that would just be a pain in my butt every night. So think through it, but also think through what case do you want. I don't have a case per se for my phone. It's um, I don't have anything covering the glass face of, of this Droid 2 Turbo. And the reason being that it's got the unbreakable glass. So um, I'm not that worried about it until rain falls on it and then <clears throat> the screen will go berserk. And then you really don't have anything dry. Like I'm rubbing it on my shirt and it's wet. <clears throat> so anyway, that leads me to my next point. Somebody asked me, hey, if uh, go a day without blogging, just walk the trail and they suggested that today and that's what I've done the past two days because freaking when it's raining man <clears throat> I don't even want to pull the phone out I've got a Z-Pax I think I showed it in my gear video but a Z-Pax pouch that my phone fits in and that thing's awesome man but you pull it out and you know at this point I'm scared too because I only got about 30 days left plus or minus five days and I'm man I want my phone to last so I'm, I'm really cautious to pull it out in the rain and the mud <clears throat> but in doing so, I felt like I was missing something for the last two days out there. I really enjoy turning the phone on, or the camera on, and talking to you guys. And uh, updating you on what I'm thinking, or what I'm seeing, or something cool on the trail, like trail beavers. And I, I miss that. So, it's not like, so the way I see it now is, <clears throat> it's not like it's a burden. It's like it's a almost like a companion, um, and really it's four thousand nine hundred. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hopefully, um, <clears throat> hopefully we're gonna get three more subscribers by the time I go to bed, so we can reach that five thousand mark. That's pretty cool. It's taking us a while. You know, I was just looking at the statistics. Fifty-two-ish percent of the people watching videos are subscribers. 49% of the people watching these videos haven't hit the button subscribe. So you 49% that are watching the video, it takes two seconds to push the little, not even two seconds, push the word subscribe. That's all you have to do. It ain't going to burn your phone up. It ain't going to burn your house down. Um, but it is, if you set it up right, it's going to give you an alert for when we post new videos. And then you are now a member of the community. And um, man, you get to reap the benefits of these other 4,997 people um, who have joined this group and this community and who are just full of great ideas and experiences and you get to share in all that. It's like getting to go to college for free almost <clears throat> with 4,997 professors um, at your beck and call. Uh, yeah, so anyway, back to the phone. Um, felt like I was missing something and I didn't like it so man I look forward to getting back out tomorrow and praying that this freaking rain holds off so I can at least show y'all some of the trail that I haven't got to show you the past two days um, so when I get to Killington and that is about 94 miles from here I think um, I'm going to stay at the Killington, well there's two or three options there man, I ain't decided yet, but the post office is right there and I got, that's where my next resupply box is going to come and I got my new shoes coming. Um, and Alright, my mom keeps texting me and it keeps cutting my video off and yes J.A. I've turned on the <clears throat> freaking do not disturb sign, I just didn't do it this time and she just texted me though to tell me that we reached 5,000 subscribers, so that's good news. That's cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, I got some Amazon boxes coming and whatnot um, up there. I ordered some Gore-Tex socks per the advice of one of the commenters and subscribers. Um, I only paid 24 bucks for them, man. He suggested go with the Rockies, but good God, they're 54 bucks. I might hate them, so I don't want to waste 54 bucks if I hate them. So, went with the one that's got like 4.8 stars on Amazon with a lot of reviews. And uh, I'm going to try hiking in those for a while with my new shoes and see if I like them in the Vermud. Uh, if I don't, then they will go away very quickly. 
I'm all about trying new stuff though, man, so I can bring it to y'all and let you know what the early riser thinks about it. All right. <clears throat> I have about everything packed up and ready. I have my new trekking pole. In fact, Lecky, I think I told y'all this, but they sent me all they were, I thought they were going to send me is the middle and the lower section of the broken pole. No, they sent me the middle and lower section for two poles. So I basically almost have two brand new poles. Lecky's customer service is beyond reproach. They are fabulous. Here's to you, Lecky, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan, and I appreciate it, and I look forward to getting to use them. They didn't send me a basket. Um, two baskets to go with them though luckily I had one basket the other one got lost when my lower um, section broke so I ordered two baskets off Amazon and they're coming they're gonna meet me in in uh, Killington alright well, I'm just looking around the room seeing what I can talk about so uh, at that point I'm wasting your time so I'm gonna get the hell off um, I was gonna tell uh, a ranger story but I'll save that one for later yes I have been in both I've said this a hundred times but some of y'all didn't get to see all the videos I was in both the Marine Corps and the Air Force I retired from the Air Force I did 17 years in the Air Force four years in the Marine Corps I was in a special operations role as an operator the whole time and uh yeah but most of the funny stuff in the world happens in the Marine Corps because of just, it's the Marine Corps. And I was young and dumb and getting a tour of the world and staying, uh, staying liquored up and don't remember most of it. But the things I do remember are usually the funny parts. So um, I'll think about some tomorrow and we'll get another story out. All right, y'all. Appreciate all y'all do. We're at 5,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Um, don't even know what to think about it. I hadn't sunk in yet. We'll talk about it tomorrow a little bit, all right? Deuces. Love you, family. My wife is back home, and she's just a, just an angel. Getting everything I need. I'm getting it to me, and I'm never without, man, because of her. So I appreciate it, babe. And, uh, again, thanks to my mom, Eagle Mount Mom, for putting all the, uh, gathering all the names, all the volunteers who may be able to, do something or want to do something and she gets them to us so that really worked out well with uh, Joe S and um, it's me Bruce um, who both volunteered their time and appreciate it all right y'all I am out I am going to get some sleep I have my compression those are two calf sleeves on my foot trying to uh, make sure the swelling stays down tonight foot is feeling good I just walked up and down the hill over there not a lot of pain at all so we're gonna take it slow tomorrow we're gonna do 20 to a shelter and then um, assess how it feels and then see if we can up it a little bit the next day or just keep doing 20s or we'll do whatever it takes um, but we're gonna keep pushing north till somebody uh, somebody tells us we can't and then we probably won't listen and keep pushing north anyway because that's what I do all right, y'all. Deuces.